Right, so I need to call my wife. I've got her number here. Oh, hi, honey. I need to call my dad. I think his number is on this phone. Yep. Hi, dad. How are you? And the last call I need to make is to my accountant and her number is on this phone. No, on this phone. Yep, on this phone. What's up guys? <laughs> I'm Andrew from 2FAS and today we will talk about the most common misconception regarding 2FAA and 2FA usage. So naturally this video is for all of you who use 2FA or want to use 2FA. Okay, so when you want to enable 2FA on any service, most often you see this screen on which you can choose which 2FA method you want to use. For example, it's 2FA via emails or 2FA via text messages or 2FA via mobile app. Which one you should choose? Well, I made a video about it. You can check it right here. Of course, in this video, we will discuss choosing 2FA app. Now, when you choose it, you will see this screen in which mainly services will provide you a link to some of 2FA apps. Well, these links are basically marketing or lack of 2FA apps knowledge. We know because we tried to contact many services to put our links there. But the most important thing for you is to know that you are not obligated to choose any of those apps. Of course, you can choose whichever 2FA app you want. And use this app to scan a QR code and pair your 2FA app with this service. The easiest way to explain this is imagine you are searching for a phone number to a certain company. Now we will find their contact page and of course their phone number and under the phone number you will read if you want to keep in touch with us, save this phone number on your iPhone. And the other company will say, save this phone number to your Samsung. And the other company will say, well, save this phone number to your Pixel. Does that mean that you have to buy three different phones for three different numbers? Of course not, because you know that each phone has the same contacts book functionality. And it is the same with 2FA apps. Whichever 2FA app you will choose, it will have the same functionality as other 2FA apps. So when you choose one 2FA app, stick to it and use it for all your services. If you are still wondering which 2FA app you should choose, I've made a video about it. You can check it right here. And remember that if you didn't know about it and you have, for example, three 2FA apps for three different services, you can easily move those tokens to one 2FA app. Now, if one of those apps is a Google Authenticator, I also made a video about how easy it is to transfer your tokens from Google Authenticator. And now, my personal message just for you. Thank you for watching this video because it means that you are using or thinking of using 2FA. That's awesome. Okay, and that's it for this video. If you like it, leave a like and remember to subscribe to our channel. See you.